Felicity for Get Your Rock Out, talking to the legend that is Michael Schenker. How are you doing today? I'm doing very good. The sun is shining. Wow, now that is amazing. (laughs) (laughs) It's always so sad when it's really sunny outside and then you go outside and it's so cold. You 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 can't stay there for more than a minute. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, so um, you're currently, um, you know, I, to be honest, I don't quite know where to start. You've got so much going on at the moment. Um, so I think we'll start off with talking a bit about the DVD that you've got coming out on Monday. Yeah. Um, it's the Temple of Rock Live in Europe DVD. Um, and it's been filmed on your, your Temple of Rock tour. Um, so how pleased are you with the finished product? Half a year later, I'm already twice as good, and you know, I don't know. It's it's you know, I I I I think the the, the company did a great job putting it together, and uh, I love the fact that there is a, the 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 high voltage on there as well, yeah. and uh, and uh, you know, and the Tilburg Netherland, and you know, we had to go. Um, it's it's like this when you have one shot, and and and, and you just came from Glasgow where. But it was incredible, and you are now traveling all night, getting to Tilburg, getting ready for the for the for the video, for the DVD, and you have cameras on stage and all of that destructive stuff. It's not it's not easy, you know, but it worked out good. It worked out good, but you know we had much better gigs, by the way, especially you know London and Glasgow were phenomenal. But you can't pick it. You cannot. I'm sure it happens to all artists. They all say. Oh, I wish we had recorded, blah, 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 you know. <laughs> yeah. But that's how it goes. But, you know, people told me, look, Michael, you, your standard, you're setting the standard much too high. This is cool. This is great, you know. And even if you had a great great one the night before and a better one, and you would have preferred to, to do that, this is still good stuff, you know. And so I, I guess that's that's how it comes across. It's still good stuff, people say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I have no doubt that this is wonderful. Um, I mean, at high voltage as well. That was that was just an amazing gig all around. Um, yeah, that yeah, that was fun stuff though because it was like the usual the usual festival stuff. You know, you don't get a sound check, you just get a line check. Things are breaking down before you you are ready to go on stage. Nothing is working, and <laughs> you know, and and it's the time is ticking, and you're already losing time of your own time for the for the show. You only have like forty five minutes or whatever. And, um, you know, and you know, people are filming and then, of course, it's ready to go. Then you come out and the monitors don't work. Shoot, what do we do? Okay, let's just do it anyway. <laughs> and then, you know, Rudolf is there and, and Jeff, uh, you know, Scotto and uh, way and, you know, and you just, you just celebrate. You just make it a party, you know. You know, it worked out great. The audience were incredible and, and it was a fun, you know, I mean, it was like... Hectic, hectic, but it all worked out good. Wonderful. And do you find that when you're going on stage, knowing that the gig is going to be filmed for something like this, do you but find you know, that it adds to the pressure? Yeah, well, it depends on how you feel at the day, you know, at the time, yeah. because sometimes you deal with it better than others. And so it's a bit like going on stage. Sometimes you play better, sometimes you play not as good, or maybe you, sometimes you play exceptional. You have no idea why. Um, you know, but it's kind of, it's it's one of those things. You know, you don't always pop, you don't perform every minute exactly. You know, uh, the, yeah. the same. You know, it, every day has got its 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 surprises, and so you know, I'm always happy to to catch lucky moments. <laughs> 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 Wonderful. And of course, uh, Michael Schenker's Temple of Rock Live in Europe is uh, released on CD, DVD, Blu-ray and, of course, the limited deluxe collector's edition by In Acoustic uh, on Monday the 10th of December. So for all you listeners out there that really want to, to see Michael live without getting to a show just yet, that's the way to do it. <laughs> Yeah, but you know the fact the fact that, that Herman Rebel is on it and Francis Buchholz, the original rhythm section of the Rocky Like the Hurricane Scorpions and Blackout, you know, that in itself, you know, adds to the quality of the D V D. It's very exciting. It for me it was like a last drive reunion tour, you know, and we we you know, I did like a few gigs with the Scorpions in nineteen seventy nine and then it, it all fell apart. I, I couldn't do it anymore. 
and now I have a chance to, you know, to play last life material with Francis and, and, and with Herma, and that is fantastic. And Doogie yeah. is, a, is a funny character, a very great entertainer, great singer. And so, you know, I think we, we have a good, a good uh, thing going there. Definitely. And uh, obviously, your career, you know, you've done so unbelievably much. Is there any decision that you look back on now that you wish you'd change differently or one thing that you think you could change? Are you really happy with where you are now? Yeah, you know, I, the way I look at life is every moment is a moment, is a precious moment that you deal with. And once the moment is gone, you're on to the next moment. And uh, so you basically you make choices on a, on a, on a, you know, every, every moment you have to make choices and choices and choices. So, you know, it's you cannot turn anything back. I'm happy where I am today, and all the choices I've made brought me here. So, you know, it, it's just, you know, it, that's how life goes. It's basically, um, for me, it's growing, developing, uh, making mistakes, and having crises, uh, having problems. It's all important stuff because it's teacher, you know. It teaches and it creates character. It creates wisdom, knowledge, etc. Without any, um, you know, without any, any, any obstacles or challenges, that there would be not really any life, you know. So very I, true. Yeah, and, you know, and so like I don't think there's anything, you know. I always say there's nothing wrong and there's nothing right, nothing wrong. Just do your thing and stay strong. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like it a lot. Yeah. And. You know, you have you've guested on so many different albums. You've you know you've produced so many albums. You've been a part of so many complete rock and roll classic songs. Is looking looking back on it now, does your you know your kind of favourite song that you've ever been a part of? Does that change on a daily basis, or do you have you know a few songs that you just think you know what these are these are my all time favourites that I've, I've ever been involved with? No, it's different for me. It's it's you know every Again, every moment has its particular type of circumstances. And when I, you know, I'm not a consumer. I don't even consume my own stuff. I, I, I am totally in it, in the zone, and I'm totally passionate with the moment when I create music. And uh, I do it the way I see it. And once it's completed, I let go of it, you know. And yeah. uh, I, don't, I don't even look at songs. And uh, for me, a whole album is just one big journey. And so I look at things totally different maybe than the, the usual consumer. But uh, I am fascinated with single notes, you know, lead guitar playing. That, that's, what I, that's what I enjoy, play and discover. It, it's, that's one aspect for me. And um, so I'm not, you know, a song for me is kind of more like, a, you know, the, the verse and the chorus. It's an introduction to my uh, solo adventure. <laughs> when I take the yeah. solo, I go on a little adventure. Then I come back, and then we finish the song with a few more lines on a, with, the, with the vocals. <laughs> and that's how, you know, that's, that's what I do. I take it in the middle of the song. I'm going to go somewhere else. Fantastic stuff. Um, and you guys, you're going to be touring. Uh, you're hitting the UK uh, in April next year, um, which we're really looking forward to. Um, and you're also, you're visiting quite a few places that you didn't on the last tour. Um, this tour, is it going to be a continuation of the Temple of Rock tour, or are there rumours of a new album in the pipeline? Yeah, you see, that, that, is, that is the question that I asked myself a few weeks ago, <laughs> because if you actually looked before, it was all new gigs, you know, stuff that we didn't yeah. do before. So I was asking myself, well, wait a minute, the people, if this is a continuation of the tour we did earlier, um, the people that haven't seen the show yet, um, if I play a different show, it's not going to be the show everybody else saw. But now they have added already London uh, uh, on, yeah. on the end and stuff like that. So I think, you know, that, that, well, basically also because we are, getting, we are actually starting to record right now, um, for the new album with this lineup, you know, with Herman Rebel on drums and Francis Buchholz on bass and Dougie White singing and Wayne Finley on keyboards, guitars and myself. And uh, so by the time we go on tour, we, we already have a new album ready, but that won't be released until the end of the year, 2013. Yeah. So there is a possibility that, first of all, we're going to be adding uh, one or two songs of the new album to it. And also, I think because I've got so much material, maybe we change things around a bit of the 
of a couple of songs and put some other a couple of other classics in there and so it will be a different show and it will be yeah and it will be different uh, uh, a running order and everything you know so that's what i have decided because otherwise you know we, we would have i i don't want to go back to london playing the same <laughs> the same set i can't do <laughs> yeah. that you know so i i think that would be the best way to go that's brilliant so lots to look forward to with that I mean, yeah. how do you decide, kind of set list wise, with such a wealth of material? How on earth do you decide what you're going to play? Yeah, because actually this is pretty simple this time because, you know, I toured a couple of, you know, two, three years since In the Midst of Beauty with Gary Barden. And so we played, you know, most of the classics of MSG. But this time it's a summit, it's the best of Michael Schenker. And so, you know, I, I just, you know, look at. Um, uh, Strangers in the Night, the Buddha Khan album, um, Love Drives album, and uh, Temple of Rock, and then you know a couple of songs from the from the high days with uh, Herman and and uh, Francis with the Scorpions, like Rock You Like a Hurricane, which is a song that Herman wrote, and Blackout, and so you know there we have it. That there is the you know the best um, of what is known, and 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 that's how I choose. Wonderful. Um, and the tour, it kicks off on the 9th of April. Uh, tickets can be got from the thegigcartel.com um, for all you people that haven't got tickets yet. If you haven't, it's the perfect Christmas present for those those people in your life. Absolutely. And, yeah, definitely. And from everything you're saying, even if we, you know, we caught you last time, it's definitely worth getting down to a show this time. Yeah. So, brilliant. Um, and you've also uh, you're also releasing uh, Michael Schenker's personal VIP package very shortly. Yeah. Which, which so that is, that's not to be confused. It. Yeah, I want to make sure because I'm kind of getting some <coughs> people a bit confused. There is a VIP uh, meet and greet package, and then there is a personal uh, uh, VIP package where that is going to be sent out to people, which includes um, unreleased recordings. Um, from 79, uh, after I left the Scorpions, the Love Drive album, and I I was writing material for my new solo album, and I was singing on quite a few of those, and uh, wow. it's, it's unreleased stuff, and that will be in that uh, uh, personal VIP package, and then there's also, will be the, the howler, the, 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 the tool, uh, with, with the instructions on how to do it will be in there, there is another thing um, I can't remember what it was. I have I have it in front of me, but there's about three major things in there that are you know uh, really interesting, and then of course a lot of different goodies like very you know I think it's already uh, described on the on the on the um, on the website what 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 people can expect. But I just wanted to make clear that the VIP. Yeah. Uh, meeting meet and greet package is is something that happens at concerts and the personal VIP package that's going to be that's a box that's going to be sent to people yeah. is a different thing. Brilliant. Um, and let's talk about the box that's going to be sent to people. I mean, it just sounds absolutely fascinating. Um, but why has this material stayed unreleased until now? Yeah. Well, because I was always I didn't want people to hear me singing. <laughs> 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 but eventually. You know, I kind of I'm 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 open to it, and I and I just release it. It's actually quite funny, you know. It's kind of uh, <laughs> people are not gonna. I've got two different voices, one very high and one low, and so it's gonna. You know, it's uh, people have no idea. Um, you know, it's it's gonna be a surprise. <laughs> wonderful. No, it's going to be wonderful. Um, and am I right in thinking that there are only going to be a thousand copies of this released? Well, I think so. That's that's the idea. I mean, that, that it's going to be, it's a, it's a, a, a thousand boxes, and that's wow. all we're going to be sending out. Wow! <laughs> so get your hands on one of them while you can. Yeah, you have to be quick. <laughs> Definitely. <one> one. <laughs> Definitely. Um, and you know, you have been such an inspiration to so many musicians growing up nowadays. Um, what? Would you like to be remembered for more than anything? When you you know you you see people looking at, at you and your career over over the years, what do you want them to remember you for? In the spirit of a spirit on a mission. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. 
I mean, do you find it hard knowing that so many people look up to you in so many ways? Do you find that that's quite a pressure, or is it something that you don't really think about? I don't really think about it, to be honest. Uh, you know what? I, I'm a very, I, I'm very fortunate, by the way. Um, you know, the amount of attention and the amount of uh, fame, you know, that I uh, experience is actually. You know, it, it really is, um, it's like custom made for my type of character. It's just the right amount I can deal with. You know, I would not yeah. like to be followed by the paparazzis every day. <laughs> it would drive me nuts, you know. Yeah. I think, I think God had, had a, had a, um, um, you know, uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, uh, compassion with me to not over, <laughs> not to over, uh, load me with, with that kind of attention. I, I, you know, I mean, it must be pretty uh, bad if you're just going outside the house and and you have you know people flashing cameras at you all the time. Yeah. So I I got spared from that and I'm very happy about it. Wonderful. Um, and you know, kind of, there's obviously there has been so much that you've done, but do you still enjoy creating new stuff and bringing out new material and learning new techniques as much as you ever did? I tell you, I I love play and discover. That's my passion. I love to play the guitar and discover, and I discover things on a daily basis. It's unbelievable. It's just, um, you know, there's infinite combination lock out there on a guitar, you know, with the things you yeah. can do. It's uh, never ending. Wonderful. And when you're not playing music and you're not writing music and you're not experimenting, what else do you spend your time doing? Experimenting. <laughs> <laughs> I love to create. I tell you, I love to create. I... You know, I love to look at houses. I love, I, I, I love to design and uh, design in in general. I, you know, I'm very, I'm very much. I, I become more and more a a person of who enjoys the moment. You know, and everything I look at and and I I deal with. I I kind of create something with it. You know, it's it's that yeah. kind of thing. Do you do you think that you could see yourself ever doing anything that didn't involve music? I, I'm, I, I would be very creative at that point. I mean, if somebody would take music away from me because I'm a creative person, I would create something else straight away because it's it's infinite of, you know, it's a bit like, I mean, you know, I had so many uh, hobbies when I was um, when I was young. You know, like I loved football, I loved drums, and and all sorts of different things. I mean, if the guitar goes, I would immediately find something else I would create with. Right, interesting. But hopefully we won't see you leaving the music <laughs> industry no, anytime soon. No, it's nice. It's nice to to perfect something and keep it going. You know, uh, yeah. if you have to start off from from scratch. But even though you know, I really love, I really love the um, um, the, the the learning process of things. You know, discovering like from nothing to to perfecting it. it it's it's yeah. a it's a great it's a great enjoy enjoyable journey. Yeah, wonderful. Um and apart from the new album that you've got coming, you know, upcoming, yeah. um is there anything else that you're half thinking that you're you're going to be doing soon? Um, you know, I've heard rumors of a real kind of back to blues album, I've heard rumors of acoustic things. Um but <laughs> it would yeah. be nice to know if there was any truth in these. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff, um, you know, there's a lot of stuff that, that has potential of developing. I mean, there is the one thing with a, a Dokken, you know, is working on a, on a putting vocals on the first Thank You album. And, uh, you know, we talked about this for a while, and uh, he actually had a go on it and on one song on Positive Forward. He did an incredible job, and so I told him, get go on with it, you know, keep, wow. keep going, keep going. Yeah. And so... I guess he is, you know, working on more material, and then I'm looking forward to hearing it. And, uh, you know, that is something that's happening. And then there's all sorts of different possibilities coming up, you know. But I'm, <laughs> I'm as a, there is a lot of potential out there. But what exactly we don't know yet. Fantastic. So so much to look forward to. Yeah. Brilliant. Well, thank you so, so much for taking the time yeah. to talk to us today. Thank you very much. It's been an utter pleasure. Um, so if, for anybody wanting to find out more information about anything we've talked about, just head over to michaelschenkerhimself.com. And is there anything that you yourself would like to say as a parting comment to your fans? 
something I would like to say, keep on rocking. Fantastic. <laughs> Thank you so, so much. And we will really look forward to seeing you in April. Thank you very much. Thank you. Take care now. You too. Bye-bye. Thank you.